What we're going to talk about today is so basic and simple that you would think it doesn't need to be discussed. But the reality is, due to the toxic history that most men have with women in their prior decades living in the West, and again, when I say the West, I mean Canada, United States, Europe, Australia, which is only part of it because many men that I've spoken with who have been in the stages where they're preparing to come to the Philippines or they're fresh off the plane and we get to talking and they vent their frustrations. Many of them, their situation when it comes to meeting women is that they have been out of the dating pool maybe for decades. They were married for 20 years, 25 years, and then they either got divorced or they were widowed. And so the last time that they went out into the dating realm was maybe back in the 70s, the 80s or 90s. And it's not as though human nature has really changed so much. It's just that culturally, the dating atmosphere has become very toxic in the West. And so many men have pulled back and retreated, gone into what some call monk mode, and basically said, I don't want any more of this abuse. I'm not going to date anymore. But then they discover the Philippines, and they come across channels like mine that are educating men about the different opportunities that they can have for a relationship in the Philippines, whether it be with a younger woman or a woman their own age. doesn't matter. The type of women that you will meet in the Philippines is so much closer to what most men want. A woman that is attractive, a woman that is joyful, a woman that is feminine, a woman that is a great companion to spend your time with. That's what most men are looking for. And it's also what they're not finding in their home country. So I understand many men come to the Philippines and let's just put it out on the table. They have no game. They don't know the simple process of walking about town, just doing your regular business. You see a woman you're attracted to. There she is, 30 feet away. You walk up to her, you say hello, you're not doing anything weird or stressful. You're just being very casual and comfortable. You start some conversation with her and you get her phone number so that you can continue talking later. You talk later, you're chatting on the phone and you set up the first date. Very easy peasy stuff. But for some guys, they've been out of the game so long, they freeze up. They have this paranoia that it's going to be just like it was in their home country. They're worried about litigation. They're worried about being shamed in public just for talking to a woman. But I'm here to tell you in very clear language, that is not something you have to worry about in the Philippines. As long as you are being polite, courteous, you've got nothing to worry about. Now, if you're walking up to a woman half drunk and presuming she's a prostitute, they do have laws here that will put you in jail for harassing a woman in public. So don't do that. But if you're a regular guy who wants to just go out with a woman that you see in a public place, could be the grocery store, the park, waiting in line for a ferry, it could be anywhere, you see a woman and you want to go out with her, in the Philippines, that really is not a problem. Since 2012, I've lost count how many women I've gone out with. And of all the women that I have seen in public, approached them, started conversation, got their text number. Later that night, when they got off work, usually about 9 p.m., we chat a little bit. I'm not the type to be chatting forever. That first day after a bit of conversation and back and forth, and I'll say, you know, I'd really like to hang out with you a bit. Could you join me for lunch tomorrow? Could you join me for coffee? Could you join me for dinner after work? My treat. And I'm here to tell you that since 2012, 
the success rate of women that I approach and ask out and meet for a date is like 99.5%. One half of 1% of the time, in fact, only three times that I can even think of since 2012, has a woman either said, no, I'm already married, or I have a boyfriend. And in one case, we became good friends, and later I found out she liked women. So that was the explanation behind that. But the other 99.95% of the time, I got their number, we chatted, we went out, and then it went on for either another two weeks, another three months. So the reason I bring all this up to reassure you, you need to get over your fears about approaching women is because if there is anywhere on the planet where you can approach a woman as a decent person and go out with them, it's the Philippines. Now, yes, there's other countries you can go to, Cambodia, Thailand, but you have a language barrier. In the Philippines, they've studied English. They may not be great at it, but you can walk up to any woman in the Philippines and they will understand you when you speak English. So what is it that goes wrong when guys come to the Philippines, they've been out of the dating scene for 10, 20 years, they see all these wonderful Filipinas, and then they freeze up. What happens? I'll tell you what happens. They decide to go, many of them, to the dating sites, which is the worst possible place you could ever look for a woman. Every scammer that's looking for a victim knows that the online dating sites is their feeding ground. So overall, I really want to just exhort you to stay off the dating sites. But many men go to that because there's no personal risk of rejection, which is really where the fear is at. Oh, you know, if I approach her in public, you know, she's going to say no and everybody around me is going to laugh at me. You know, they got it built up in their head far beyond reality because the reality is even if a woman did say no like one time I, I approached a woman in a sony store in ayala mall in cebu i was with a buddy of mine he was getting a camera and beautiful filipina there so you know i started some conversation we got to talking and then i asked her i just flat out asked her i said oh so are you single and it turned out she was married was that the end of the world no did everybody else around me just mock me and run me out of the mall? No, no big deal. So while the dating sites might seem like the answer, you're just going into a pit of vipers. I'd say 90% of the women that you're going to come into contact with on a dating site are not in there for a sincere relationship. And that's not counting all the ones that are misrepresenting themselves, saying they have no kids when they got kids, or saying that they're single when they're actually married. That's a whole other ball of wax. Now, what's the other big mistake that expats make when they come to the Philippines, they want to be with a Filipina woman, but they're paranoid and they got no game? Well, there's a place several places, such as Angeles, where guys know they can sit in a girly bar and lead with their wallet. They don't have to have any game. All they have to do is sit there, have a couple beers, do nothing, and these Filipino women will start flocking around them and pretend that they're interested in you. And these idiots actually think, oh, she likes me. No, she doesn't. This is her job. She is what's known as a hired gun. She stands to benefit financially by being nice to you. No different than the waitress at a restaurant or a stripper or a real estate agent. A woman working in a girly bar is there to make money by being nice to you. It is not sincere. It is not real. It's her job. And if she can make more money going home with you, she'll do it. And it's not because you're handsome. It's not because she likes you. It's because she wants to get paid. So when a guy says to himself, well, I'm too afraid to go and approach women organically. 
I'm just going to go down to the girly bar and and wait and see what happens. We'll already know what's going to happen. These girls are going to flock to him. And instead of seeing the situation for what it is, he tells himself, oh, she really likes me. This feels so good to have a woman's attention for a change. And then he starts rationalizing it and telling himself, well, she says she hasn't been working here long. She's probably a good woman who just came under bad circumstances, and I'll bet I could save her from this situation. And that is the beginning of a horror story that we have all heard a million times. So my admonition here is don't fall for these two obvious mistakes. When it comes to meeting women in the Philippines, don't fall for the dating sites and don't lead with your wallet. Some guys go to the girly bars, again, because it's already known, if you spend money on drinks, these girls will give you attention. But other guys will make the same mistake outside of the girly bar. When they do happen to cross paths with a Filipina and end up in a conversation, they still lead with their wallet. They tell themselves, well, the only way she's going to stay and spend more time with me is if I give her some money and take her to really nice places and just spoil the heck out of her. Otherwise, she's not going to stick around. So they're constantly opening their wallet. And these girls, they know, they can smell the desperation on you. And they know they've got a sucker. They know they're looking at a desperate man. And so they start putting their problems in front of you with the insinuation, well, gee, I'd really like to spend more time with you, but I've got to go and figure out how I'm going to make some money for my sick grandmother or whatever, whatever story they come up with. And they know that you will panic, take out your wallet and say, no, 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 don't, don't leave me. Don't, don't go handle this fabricated problem. Here, let me solve it for you. Here, here's some money. Is, is $200 enough? No? Okay, well, here's $500. I'll get you more next month. See, women can smell it on you. So what you got to do is if you have no game, if you don't know how to simply walk up to a woman and do the steps as I've described them here, they're very simple. Anybody can do it. It's not rocket science. It's not brain surgery. Go up to her. You say hello. You find something to talk about. Keep it brief. Three to five minutes at most. And your whole goal is to wrap it up quickly and say, I'd really like to be talking with you. I got stuff to do. I got to go. Or you're working. Can I get your text number? Once you have their text number, now you can take a more relaxed pace with the next lead up being, let's meet up in person on your time off. Let me treat you to lunch. And then you just take it from there. Now, this is simple stuff. So if you don't have any game, learn. You don't have to be handsome. You don't have to be incredibly wealthy. You just have to be a decent guy with some self-confidence. And I've talked to guys and they say, well, I get so stressed and I get so panicked and it's hard to be confident when I'm freaking out inside. And I tell them, chill out. Do not approach a woman with all this stuff in your head thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, this could be my future wife. The, my destiny is at stake. Everything in the world, my entire future is hanging in the balance. I've really got to do this right. You're setting yourself up for failure. As I've said before, go in with low expectations. Go in and walk up to that woman Say hello, and your only goal is to have a pleasant interaction with her. Even if you just somehow blow it and don't get her phone number, at least just set your goal to have a pleasant hello and quick chat with this woman, because that experience will help you with the next woman. So if you have no game, learn. And how do you learn? You learn by doing. Look at every skill under the sun. You learn it by doing it. You want to learn welding? You get only so far reading about it. At some point, you got to grab some metal and a welder and start getting some experience. You want to learn how to be a carpenter? You want to learn how to be an electrician? Whatever it is you want to learn, instruction is only the beginning. 
You have to jump into the arena and do it. And yeah, okay, maybe you're out of practice and you'll flub it up a few times, but this is where perseverance pays off. You learn from your mistakes. You correct what isn't working. And before you know it, you're calm and cool as a cucumber. You see some woman that you want to go out with, you walk up to her, you have the conversation, you get her number and you take her out. It becomes as simple as shifting a clutch. You're doing it without even thinking about it. But you're only going to get to that point by doing it. So stay away from the dating sites. Don't be one of these losers who just hangs out in a girly bar waiting for some hired gun bar girl to fall in their lap. Don't make that mistake. Get out there and improve your game. It's not that complicated.